This video will demonstrate how to install our hybrid inverter. Preparation before installation. Please reach the directions before installation and make sure all of the accessories are present in the box. Leaving more than 300 mm of space around the inverter and at least 500 mm below. Inverter installation. First, install the inverter bracket. Use a lamber ruler to guarantee balance. After selecting where to attach the inverter bracket, use a marking pen to identify the punching points. Use a 10 mm drill bit at the marked points, approximately 60 mm deep. Place the attached plastic anchors into the 3 punched openings. Use expansion screws to fasten the bracket to the wall. Tighten the expansion screws with a screwdriver. The installation of the inverter bracket is complete. Hook up inverter. Hang the inverter from the inverter bracket. Fasten the screws from both sides. For DC cable fabrication, positive cable making. Negative cable making. DC connection. Ensure that the input voltage of each string is lower than 1000 volts. Positive and negative terminals are connected correctly. Connect the DC connector to the inverter's DC terminal on the bottom. The DC connector clicks when it is plugged in. Communication connection. Tighten the date logger to the COM at the bottom of the inverter. AC connection. Please confirm the AC terminal to prevent accidental connection before installation. Peel off wires of equal length to the AC terminal. Peel off wires of equal length to the AC terminal. Confirm the AC terminal is powered off. Tighten the AC terminals after connecting. AC connection is finished. Ground wire connection.
Battery installation. Preparation before installation. Please read the directions before installation and make sure all of the accessories are present in the box. Leaving enough space around the battery pack. Power cable connection. Negative cable making. Negative cable has been completed. Positive cable making. Positive cable has been completed. Ground wire connection. Install the anti tilting bracket on the back of BDU. Stack the battery base, battery module, and BMS in the order listed. Leaving 20 mm space away from the wall. Measure the stacking height of the battery pack and base. Measure the same height on the wall. Use a marking pen to mark it. Mary the spacing between the two holes of the wall mount tie rails. Mary the same height on the wall and mark it. Use a 10 mm drill bit at the marked points, approximately 60 mm deep. Place the expansion bolts into the punched opening. As shown in the figure, temporarily fix the M420 anti-theft screws correctly on the anti-tilting bracket. Install the BDU. During the installation process, the anti-tilting bracket need to be fastened to the one mount tie rails. Then use the hexagonal screwdriver to tighten the screw. Connect the battery package to the pulse chief. Connective pulse of the inverter accordingly. 
plug the external cable into the BMS port. Plug another side of the external cable into the CAM port of the battery pack. The battery pack installation is finished. Powering on and commissioning. Please double check that all connections are correctly connected and gently tug on the cables to ensure that they are tightly linked. First, turn on the AC circuit breaker, then turn on the DC switch. Turn on the power switch until the power button lights up. Press and hold the power button for 5 seconds to activate the battery. The screen steady on green indicates a normal operation. Please refer to the product menu. For future assistance, please contact OXO after sales team or authorized service partner.